so good morning so now we going to see the topic pert p e r t the abbreviation of pert is program evaluation and review technique program evaluation and review technique so normally it is used in an r and d type of projects the space industry defines uh, any nuclear power structures so for that particular type of buildings this particular pert will be highly applicable so because it is a research and development type of thing so used for planning controlling and review techniques also and project duration depends upon the time taken for each event to occur so uh, that's why this particular pert problem is very important so for this planner requires wide range of experience with the similar projects and also if you are a contractor you having an enough experience in this then only it will be highly suitable for you people to make your project as a successful one okay so this is already mentioned as a pert is a time oriented network and the cpm is a cost oriented network and pert is a time oriented network so that's why it is a deterministic approach and a probabilistic approach two types of approaches there in time duration uh, in cpm it comes a deterministic approach will comes under the category and in pert the probabilistic approach will comes under the category okay so these are the general uh, intro of the program evaluation review technique so now we compare what is the difference between a cpm and a pert cpm it is activity oriented pert it is event oriented network time estimate in fair degree of accuracy and in pert the time estimates are not accurate here and in cpm the cost is the governing factor in pert time is the governing factor i already mentioned this point okay cpm is a cost oriented network and pert is a time oriented network the project duration is fixed in such a way that cost is minimum okay it is assumed as cost is directly proportional to time because cost and time are directly proportional here the critical path in cpm is the path that joins a critical activity that we people know very well the critical path is the path which joins a critical events if it joins a critical activity that is called as a critical path if it joins that is a critical event which is called as a critical path okay so it having a three different times there the optimistic time which is normally called as in t not the pessimistic time which is normally called as in tp and most likely hood time this is called as in tm most likely time so now i show you a, a a drawing it will be of a uh, useful for you people so this is the drawing of representing optimistic time pessimistic time and most likely time so this is the prob in y axis we need to be draw a probability and x axis it is a time duration okay so not to be draw likewise t not optimistic time p mostly likely time tm and tp is pessimistic time so with the help of these three time periods in your problem we need to be do we need to be find out the single time estimate with the help of two with the help of one formula that formula is normally called as n this is a formula de time duration t not plus 4 tm plus tp by 6 so this is a formula to find out the duration of the any activity okay so let's see the problem and it also having a variance you know we need to be find out a variance of the particular activity okay so the variance we having a formula of tp minus t not by 6 the whole square is the formula for variance okay so it having a two different formula one is t not plus 4 tm plus tp by 6 this is the duration one and the variance tp minus t not by 6 the whole square so now we see the formula so, so see the problem so this is the problem for the activity 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 so this is the three different time for the particular particular event 1 3 5 7 4 8 12 6 8 14 2 4 7 2 4 7 so this is the different times t not first one represent the t not and second time represent uh, tm and third time represent tp just substitute in this and substitute in this formula you get the answer t not plus 4 tm plus tp by 6 5 8 8.6 is on 4.16 the variance we having in the formula substitute in the above for, below the values in this particular formula you will get this variance answer okay so that's all from third problem Thank you for watching